Hi everyone, welcome to Sangam Tutorials, SP Gubbi Online Classes for NCRT and uh, CBSC 10th Standard for Mathematics and Science. So in the previous session of Mathematics with respect to similar triangles, we were discussing how to apply the similarity criterion for a right angled triangle. So it's a very very important concept as a student who is learning concept of similarity in 10th standard class should be aware of this concept. So this will be very useful in the coming higher classes for you and also these particular questions will be asked in your examination for one mark in your multiple choice or in just a descriptive type one mark question. Right? So with this we will recall the theorem which was done yesterday. So it was a very very easy theorem. I hope you enjoyed it. So it was based on uh, AA similarity criterion. So in a right angle triangle, the perpendicular drawn from the right angle vertex to the hypotenuse divides the right angle triangle into two right angle triangles which are similar to each other and also similar to the original triangle. So it was the statement of the theorem. So it was very important. Uh, concept so based on that theorem result using the result of the theorem we came across very important three corollaries corollary one two and uh, three let us recall it by sim by uh, drawing simple diagrams let us recall that so if this is a right angle triangle we will take it as triangle uh, abc so angle b is 90 degrees so let bd perpendicular to <coughs> D that is AC that are hypotenuse, right? So ABC is a right angle triangle, BD is drawn perpendicular to the AC that is hypotenuse. Now these are the two right angle triangles which are similar to each other and also they are similar to the original triangle, right? So based on this, corollary 1, so corollary 1, according to corollary 1, uh, AB square is equal to AC into AD. AC into AD, so this was corollary 1, so corollary 2 is uh, BC square is equal to AC into DC, that is AC into DC and corollary 3 regarding this BD square is equal to right AD into DC, AD into DC, right. So for AB square it is the full length of AC and upper bit multiplied by the upper bit of AC, BC square is full length of AC multiplied by lower bit of AC and BD square is equal to AD into DC that is two bits of entire AC. So this is corollary 1, 2 and 3. So problems are problems will be like this. So you will be given AC and A, you will be given AB and AC you will have to find out AD. So here you will be given out of three elements here, one is a BC, another is AC, another is DC, these are the three elements. Out of these three elements, two elements information will be given to you and the third uh, will be asked to find out. For example, this and this will be given, you have to find out this, this and this will be given, you have to find out this. And also we have a little bit small, very small riders on this which are also very important. I hope you remember, you can recall this. So once again, AB square is equal to AC into AD. BC square is equal to AC into DC, BD square is equal to AD into DC. So with this knowledge, we will, for, we will go, get into very small numericals which may appear in your examination for one mark. Okay. So we have two problems ready on the board. So we will go with them. First problem, in triangle ABC, in triangle ABC, angle ABC is 90 degrees. So in triangle ABC you can see angle ABC equal to 90 degrees here so it is a right angle triangle and BD perpendicular to AC, BD is perpendicular to AC. Now if BD is equal to 8 centimeters, BD is equal to 8 centimeters, length of this BD is given, AD is equal to 4 centimeter, so AD length 4 centimeter is given and you have to find the length of CD, very important. So here you may guess the thing. So, in triangle ABC, angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees and BD perpendicular to AC. 
So triangle ABC, angle ABC is equal to 90 and BD perpendicular to AC. So now BD square is equal to BD square is equal to AD into DC. AD into DC. This is commonly 3 we are applying here. So BD square is 8 square is equal to AD is 4 into DC. So DC is equal to 8 square can written as 8 into 8 by 4. So DC is equal to 4 1 times it is 2 times so 8 2s are so DC is 16 centimeters. So what is the length of DC here? DC, the length of DC is uh, 16 centimeters so it is very important, very 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 important. Okay, let us get to the second problem. In triangle ABC, in triangle ABC, angle BAC is equal to 90 degrees, AD perpendicular to BC and uh, BD is equal to 4 cm, it is given. So BD is equal to 4 cm, DC is equal to 5 cm, okay then find X and Y. So X is located here, that is represented by AB, AB is represented by X and uh, AD is represented by Y. So I have to find the value of X and Y, okay, very simple. So let's uh, first find out uh, AD and then we will move on to AB. Okay, we can find out AB also for the first time. Okay, let us go with this one, this one itself. AB square is equal to, so first we write the data required. So in triangle BAC, angle BAC is equal to 90 degrees and AD perpendicular to BC. AD perpendicular to BC. Very simple. So now, AB square is equal to, AB square is equal to BC into BD. That is BC into BD. So this is called one we are applying. So AB square is X square is equal to BC is BD plus DC. That is 4 plus 5. It becomes 9 centimeter into DC is 5. So X square is equal to. Uh, okay. We will take it in the same manner. So we will take square root on uh, both sides. So square and root cancels. So X is equal to. As 9 is a perfect square when it. Uh, Gets the square root of 9, we get 3 and uh, 5 is not a perfect square, so it remains inside the root. So x is equal to 3 root 5 centimeters. So this is the answer, right? So we'll go with the uh, find y. Okay, so if you want to find y, we have to use corollary 3 here. So ad square is equal to bd into dc. ad square is equal to bd into dc. So ad square is y square, we will substitute that, so y square is equal to bd is 4 and dc is 5, okay, so square root on both sides we will take, square root of 4 into 5, square and root cancels, so y is equal to, as 4 is a perfect square, square root of 4 is 2, so 2 root 5, because 5 is not a perfect square, it remains inside the root symbol, okay, so x value is 3 root 5 and y value is 2 root 5. 5 centimeters. Very, very simple problems. Just applying corollary 1, 2 or 3 according to the requirement. Right. So, we will move on to the next problem. ABC angle BAC is equal to 90 degrees AD is altitude AD is altitude F AB is equal to 2 root 5 BD is equal to 4 find AC and BC find AC and BC Okay, so this is the given the diagram here. So in triangle ABC, in triangle ABC, angle BAC is 90, so therefore angle BAC becomes equal to 90 degrees. AD is the altitude, so here it is 90 degrees. Okay, so we will put on the values to the diagram. So AB is 2 root 5, AB is 2 root 5, 
and uh, PD is 4. So find AC. You have to find this AC and you have to find BC that is total length. Total length of this. Okay, so now we can go with this. So here let us get into the solution. So in triangle ABC, angle BAC is equal to 90 degrees and uh, AD perpendicular to BC. So this is the required uh, very important data to apply the theorem. So now AB square is equal to BC into BD. So AB square is equal to BC into BD. So AB square is 2 root 5 whole square is equal to BC. We do not know the value into BD. BD is 4. So this square applies for 2 as well as root 5. So 2 square is 4 into root 5 whole square is square and uh, root uh, symbol cancels. So 5 remains. So it becomes 4 BC. So 4 5 side is uh, 20. So BC is equal to or else you can write like this 4 into 5 by 4. So BC is equal to 4 and 4 cancels. So BC is 5 centimeters. So what is the length of uh, BC here? So it is 5 centimeters. So now we have to find the value of that is length of AC, value of AC. Okay. So AC square is equal to BC into DC. So AC square is equal to BC into DC. So AC square, we do not know the value. So AC square is equal to BC. Just now we have found it out. So it is 5 into DC. Uh, we have to still find it out. Okay, DC. So AC square is equal to AC square is equal to BC into DC. So AC we have to still find it out. And uh, BC is uh, 5 centimeters. So therefore uh, DC will be 5 minus 4 that is 1 centimeter. So DC can be written as that is uh, BC minus BD. BC minus BD. So AC square is equal to 5 into BC minus BD is uh, that is BC is 5 centimeter. BD is 4 centimeters. So therefore 5 minus 4 is 1 centimeter. Right. 5 minus 4. So AC square is equal to 5 into 1. So AC square is equal to 5. You will take square root on both sides. Square and root cancels. So AC is equal to 5 units. So what is the length of uh, AC? So AC is 5 centimeters. Right. So very important. Very, very, very important. Okay. So we move on to the next problem. So in triangle ABC. Angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees. BM is altitude. BM is altitude. If AM is equal to if AM is equal to 16 MC, prove that 16 MC, prove that AB is equal to 4 BC. Prove that AB is equal to 4 BC. Okay. So we will go with the solution for this. So it is a very simple rider. So this is the triangle. In triangle ABC, angle ABC is 90. So therefore we will take angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees. BM is the altitude. So therefore this becomes BM which is the altitude that is perpendicular. If AM is equal to 16 MC, AM is equal to 16 MC. That is AM length is 16 times the length of MC then prove that AB is 4 times the length of BC. Okay. Now, let us take this uh, BC square or let us take first AB. AB square is equal to AB square is equal to AC into AM. AC into AM. Okay. So now, AM is 16 MC. So therefore, AB square is equal to AC into AM is equal to 16 MC that is 16 MC. So we will take square root on uh, both sides. So AB square is equal to square root of AC 
into 16 mc. So square and root cancels. So ab is equal to 16 is a perfect square when it comes out. It is 4 into square root of ac into mc. Take it as equation 1. Let us take it as equation 1. Okay. Now let us go with bc square. So bc square is equal to ac into mc. ac into mc. So when we take square root on both sides, square root of bc square is equal to square root of ac into, sorry this is mc, ac into mc, right, square root, root cancels, so bc is equal to square root of ac into mc, take it as equation 2. So now, what is bc equal to is square root of ac into mc, so in equation 1, we have square root of ac into mc here. So, in, in the place of square root of AC into MC, we can substitute BC. So, from 1 and 2, AB is equal to 4 into square root of AC into MC is BC. So, therefore, it is 4 into BC. So, therefore, AB is equal to 4 BC. So, this is what is to be proved. So, this is very important, a simple rider for your good knowledge, I am presenting this, right? So, we will go to the next problem. So, we are left with 4 plus 4x. We will uh, transpose this 4x to 
RHS. So 4 is equal to 7x minus 4x. 7x minus 4x is 3x is equal to 4. So x is equal to 4 by 3. So the value of x is 4 by 3. So this is a very important one mark question which comes in your examination. So for the same figure that is in triangle ABC, angle ABC is 90 and BM perpendicular to AC, please solve this problem as a homework. Right? So I hope you enjoyed the entire session today. Uh, all these problems are just for one mark. Just remember the corollaries which are very very important. Right? So maybe uh, uh, in the coming on the coming Sunday, we will be writing a test on uh, the, on this chapter which is very important again you have to repeat the test because all the concepts involved in this chapter is, are very important one mark compulsory one theorem from this chapter will be asked in your examination for four marks so therefore it requires a little bit good practice right so until that stay home stay safe and keep learning